Here we are for the top-up show, Mr. Lambourne's about to jump down now. We've lost the automatic button, but Paul Daly's been kind enough to join us on a magnificent Wednesday at Rose Hill. Paul, thanks so much for coming. G'day, Mark Lambourne. Uh, Glenn Pollitt, yeah, we've, uh, we've walked into a stiff northerly, so the... As predicted by you. Well, yeah. Um, well, Paul, what do you got to say about this wind? What do you want to do? Wind um, straight on the track. Okay, so... Too good, Lambourne. Assuming it picks up to what they say it will, then it's going to assist the horses on, on pace in the back straight. Uh, hurt them down the side, especially if they're leading. But if you're on pace with cover, that's the ideal spot. So that's what I'm thinking today. Third, fourth, fifth in the run, yeah. bit of cover yeah. underneath them, pop out. Probably not underneath. I don't want to be on the fence. Um, one, one out, one back. Yeah, one out, one wrong? back is, is perfect. I mean, if you're going to back leaders, then you want a bit in your favour if they're clear leaders. Um, depending on how, how rough the wind right, is. All right, well, speaking of leaders, uh, the leader in the first is. Um, <coughs> Is sub two to one after being five to two in the full field, and Table Mountain the other the other um, firmer, slight firmer, three to one in five to two. So who is the favourite? Jet Girl, Jet Girl is the yep. favourite, and like our leader, in, we can't talk in riddles on this show. I have to give tab numbers as well, do I? Seven well, tab number seven. Not really, but our, ridden by Blake Shin. Our community of racing around people know what we talk about, but this is a free to wear show for everybody to try and grab hold of. Uh, so, Looks in uh, trouble, doesn't it? Okay, well, well, we'll have an interesting discussion here because you and Paul often have a dispute about country form. Paul wants to find the country form. You well, country country form and the highway is a bit different because a little bit different. Yeah, they're not getting any relief yeah. from the um, from the handicap. So where are you, Paul? Um, oh, look, I'm with uh, Jet Girl. Uh, look, it was a pretty dynamic win last time. Very fast time. I think Blake. You know, can go to the front or, or be there with. Um, but everything you've just prognosticated. Now you're tipping. Well, no, no, I'm just saying in, in this first race, yeah. the wind's not as bad as it, what, what, what it's going to get to, yeah, okay. according to what the prediction is. So, um, you know, Bon Allen's there to, there to annoy it, but I don't think there's a lot of depth here. So I'd agree with the not, no depth. For me, for me, Jet Girl from, from Table Mountain, and I would probably be back in the set. Table Mountain to Brandon for me, best horse in the race, strong horse, get some cover, Jay Bowman, pop out, kiss it. Much. Good old Jay Bowman. Race two, the 2,000 metre race, and Esther Braj is, is uh, that that Durban form line is getting a lot of love. It's nine to two into seven to two, yep. and Fireman Sam I am, who is the low, lone leader, is 20s into, into 13 to one. Um, a bit of a scuzzy affair, Paul. Have you got any insight in this race? Will you be playing this race? Yeah, probably will, Mark. Um, not, not, not not with a lot of confidence. Um, possibly might have something on quick defence. Uh, I've got Nicky's gold favourite, but. Yeah, he was unlucky the other day, but 2,000 metres today, first time, and I can't get it any shorter than about 9 to 2. So, okay. you know, Trafalgar's a chance, Quick Defence a chance, uh, Esther Road's a chance, you know, Brace is a chance. It, it's a very open race, but I'm not wanting to get too involved, but probably Quick Defence. Esther Road should be, but, uh, you know, like, I. It's I want, the DF, isn't it? I want the five dollars fifty. I want the nine to two, and I want it to DF. pray perfectly, and I want everything. No, I, I have to give them a count of a chance at the current odds again. Uh, race three, the fifteen hundred metre race. Not much happening here. Uh, slight uh, firm for Bergerac. Island Missile remains eleven to four favourite. Paul, is this a play race? Yeah, maybe. Uh, might have something on the Surgeon. Uh, but I think it gets the right run behind the uh, behind the. So league. it's got the Snitzel Day form line. What are you saying? What are you saying about a horse that you were very keen on the other day, Snitzel Day? Well, special day. I'm. Getting I'm, the, getting I'm, I'm, saying, I'm saying the 1500s a slight query. Yeah. Uh, it had its chance the other day. I backed it for a lot of money and uh, didn't get the chocolates. But um, look, I, I'm saying that I'm against this or that. I'm probably double figures it. Um, Island Missile, Bergerac, uh, joint favourites in a pretty open race. But probably if I had to say right now at the prices, maybe something Surgeon, maybe something Bergerac. Glenn, have you got any no, I was pretty clarity happy, here? Pretty happy with 11 to 4 Island Missile. I thought that's a fair bet. $3.70. Uh, yeah, the um, <clears throat> hot favourite from last week on the seven day backup. Uh, the Mayor's Race, uh, Sweet Scandal remains tight. In fact, it's tightened. Uh, along with Bella Success and Seahampton has trimmed up a little bit. Glenn, what are you saying about Seahampton in the cold light of day? Yeah, even more confident today, especially with this wind around, looking for the strong horse. I think it's the strong horse that gets, gets some cover on the run, like the barrier trial, like the whole setup. I really like Sea Hampton today, guys. I think $8 is a great bet. Paul? Uh, I've got Sea Hampton about 12 to 1. Um, the one I'm against really is, is Sweet Scandal. I've got a second pick and heavily um, longer than, than the current market quote. Uh, Istria is a top pick. Look, I think it's an open race with probably five or six chances. So maybe for me, small bets, um, Alma Lambo, Mandy Line. Well, Alma Lambo's nudging 20 to 1 now. 
Uh, now the real mover and shaker race, the 1100, trekking has con continued its surge. It's now five to four. Wow. And tactical advantage is seven to four. Miss Q is a shade tighter than her overnight quote. Paul, I think you're in the trekking camp, is that right? Yeah, look, I'm six to four yet. Um, I can't back it at the current price, so I'd probably want two to one or better. Uh, but, the, you know, it went out very well, this horse, and it ran the fastest eight, six, four, and two that day. And look, at the weights, it, it, it does have the advantage over tactical advantage. But look, one of those two horses, I'm sort of six to four, nine to four. Uh, I think one of those two will be winning. Uh, Didham's a place hope, and look, I really don't want to say anything else about the race. Uh, Glenn, no. Have what, what have you technical this? advantage. Well, have it is a, it is, it is an old-fashioned stoush, isn't it? It's the weights and measures men versus the rest. Yeah, well, I'm just happy to be on tactical advantage, Mark. Uh, the feature is uh, again over the 1100. Not a lot happening here. Charges continued to be solid in the market. Uh, at uh, it was seven dollars into six, but um, pretty much as you were. Paul, will you be playing this race? Probably not, Mark. Um, look, I like Plaguestone as a horse. I think the win was good. Uh, I, I just think where it's going to be on the map, and about the shortest I can get is around the five or two mark. I think Oxford Tycoon's a chance, next best. Uh, Charge has got a, you know, not as not as good a setup as it did the other day. You know, it, it's going to have to take a trail, and with Jay Ford there, but it, it's some sort of hope. They ran good numbers. Sandbar's got the tricky gate. Yeah, uh, for me, so a bit worried about it, but it's certainly not the worst. And I thought a horse at odds that might run some sort of a race, but I am worried about where it's going to be is uh, Ring a Ding Ding. Maybe he's a fresh trainer, Ed O'Rourke. I mean, he's not much of a trainer, apparently, but. Um, well, he's had a poor strike rate. Yeah, yeah, but I'm thinking that, you know, when you consider how churning went on debut. Right. And then. Fresh is best? Yeah, I think I'm thinking fresh is best there, and that, that's the interesting Ring a Ding Ding. Glenn, have you got anything there? Or is that Mounting Yard Mail? Well, it's Mounting Yard Mail, but like, I, you know, favourite on top, Plaguestone, and not keen to bet. The, uh, the Premier's Cup prelude, cars off is like into two to one. Dear Harper's mate. Choice is 13 to four, Emperor's Way is five to one. So that's your market, pretty much. Obviously, with Mr. Seawolf being scratched, uh, that has seen that type of uh, arrangement, which doesn't look particularly appealing, does it, Paul? No, not really. I mean, um, Harper's Choice, it seems short odds, but probably second pick. Cars offered about the market price, I think, is a, is a fair price, but it's an uncomfortable feeling when you've got a two to one favourite in the race. Sure, when, um, second pick there for me, Harper's Choice, but I thought one of the bottom three could get in the second spot for trifecta players. Well, Green how's Sweet, this? yeah, South Sonic. South Sonic, and what was the other one down there? Um, Belladero. No, it's scratched Belladero. Oh, Belladero, yeah, sorry. Um, the, um, yeah, my roughie of the day, Green Sweet, was 25s, now $10. Thanks for coming, uh, Mark. It's good to tip them on Friday and on Saturday you get the lame because they're under the odds. <laughs> the penultimate. The penultimate. Uh, not much happening here. Prize icon trickling in uh, $9 into $7.50. Flow remains uh, solid at the head of the market there. Paul, will uh, is this a, a, a meaty race or not? Oh, look, I think it's pretty obvious. Um, flow's the one for me, but it is flow we're talking about. Um, I, it, yeah. I, I could back it. Uh, it depends what sort of price we get uh, in the ring later on. I'm serious. I think it's under the odds, but a logical second pick. And I think Prize Icon is a horse that raced well fresh last time, but uh, the blinkers do come off. So that's just a bit of a query. And Invincible seems very well found at five to one. So uh, I'd have to be against it. Um, so maybe flow for me, I think. Well, the horses. They're, um, are you uh, a Prize Icon man still? Yeah, maybe? still happy with number one. Warming to number two there a little bit too. I am Cole Well, she's scratched, so. Oh, sorry, I didn't get a scratch for a I'm far behind in one. Two scratches That's all right. I mentioned. Walla, you've got to be careful with Walla because they are, they're in or they're out. Uh, the, the nightcap, uh, Perrette is one of the focal horses on the day. Uh, Gord bullish, I think there's some uh, dissension elsewhere, uh, wouldn't you say, Paul? Yeah, look, I mean, for me, later today, Perrette, I just think it's got a very tricky gait. It'll go back. Uh, be a long way off them and look at it it's a it's a chance i've got a second pick um at seven to four i'd be t making it the absolute biggest risk of the day uh we've got hugh bowman a week away from his girlfriend and who knows what's going to happen but he does look, love winks doesn't he? I, look I, I can't say it can't win it's, it's it's obviously a good chance in the race but um look i'm, I'm sort of a bit different to maybe a few people here i'm going to take the risk that ghostly uh, what we saw first up uh, is is real this horse has come back a better horse i'd be interested to get glenn's opinion uh, later on, but um, I'm probably saying it's um, going to be my biggest result of the day. 
uh, it will be my biggest result of the day if it works out. Um, against Star of Monsoon uh, at, at the odds, and uh, maybe rough chances, Mr. Tickets, um, absolute, some sort of a hope. But yeah, def definitely potting Perret. Wow, interesting stuff there by Mr. Daly. Uh, thought Perret would get the job done. I understand what you say about the price, though. That's, uh, that's a, uh, a summation of, of what's where we're at at uh, 11 o'clock race morning at Rose Hill. It's, uh, it's a day where you really would want to be here. Um, a good enough looking card. Yeah. Don't forget that at Racing Rant we, uh, we're involved in all sorts of things. Uh, four, four videos a week. Um, sets for Wednesdays and Saturdays. I've just mailed out John Walter's Flemington set now. So gold subscribers get that as well. $22 a week and the first two weeks are always free. So uh, it's hard not to get involved. And uh, just a reminder that Lismore coming up in six weeks, there's a special deal that I'll be mailing out to Goldies, uh, so we're hoping to have as many people there as possible to, uh, to join Racing Rant on Tour. Nothing like Racing Rant on Tour. Alright, thanks so much for watching. Thank you.